three pounds celery. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here. I am actually at the Asian market and I thought I would actually show you some finds that I actually have. Check this out. This is exactly what I talk about in my book, Peace to Beat Disease, Chinese celery. Now, there is actually a compound in Chinese celery that stimulates stem cells. That's so powerful that in China, they've actually approved this compound to treat strokes because it actually helps to regenerate the brain and create better blood flow. So, next time you actually are looking for celery, if you're in an Asian market, look for the Chinese celery. Look, it's a little bit bendy, all right? But that's okay. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this session, we will learn from Dr. William Lee on the incredible benefits of Chinese celery, a vegetable that's not only packed with flavor but also offers impressive health benefits. Specifically, we'll explore how Chinese celery can support stem cell health and contribute to overall well-being. At the end, we will share some delicious recipes featuring Chinese celery along with other stem cell promoting ingredients. Dr. Lee is a leading physician, researcher, and author of the acclaimed book Eat to Be Disease. He is renowned for his groundbreaking research on how certain foods can affect our health at the cellular level. His work explores how what we eat can influence everything from our immune system to our stem cells. Chinese celery contains nutrients and compounds that can promote stem cell function and repair, helping to maintain and enhance our body's cellular health. Let's listen to Dr. Lee tell us more about the role of stem cells. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Celery? I don't think uh, something that most people are aware of that you can activate your own stem cells. That yeah. there's things you do in your life that you can screw up your stem cells. And what are stem cells anyway? What do they do and how do we how do we understand how to stop hurting them and start helping them? Yeah, well stem cells are really simple. Um, we're made of stem cells. So when our moms and dads got together and created, you know, uh, uh, us in the womb, we started out as stem cells. They actually made every single organ. An organ egg and a sperm. An egg and a sperm got together and they basically decided they would become a stem cell factory. And then pretty much we formed out of our own stem cells. And after we were born, a, a, a few of those stem cells um, stuck around, um, about 700,000 of them. They stick around and they're mostly in our bone marrow and they're in lining of our intestines. And they hide out in our body and they help us regenerate. We know that we regenerate because our hair falls out and grows back. Our gut lining grows back. Our livers can grow back. If you actually remove part of your liver, it'll grow back. Yeah. Um, our skin grows back, you know. Yeah. Um, so we, our bodies possess the ability to regenerate through stem cells. Now... Mm. What can injure stem cells? You know, um, high doses of alcohol can damage and blunt your stem cells. So you I'm know? okay with the one tequila I had last night? You know, uh, uh, <laughs> having a tequila every now and then is not bad. Having a glass of wine. But you know, it's it's the the the, the thing is on balance. What you want to do is yeah, people, you know, people who drink a lot have damaged stem cells. Diabetes mm -hmm. is another state, a metabolic state that, you know, it really impairs. It cripples our stem cells. Sugar. High blood sugar cripples our stem cells. So the excess of anything can be harmful, including to our stem cells. So what are the things that we can do to help boost our stem cells? This is where it's really become interesting. Before I talk about that, though, let Does me just tell you. stress affect your stem cells? Stress can definitely affect our stem cells. High stress will blunt the activity of our stem cells. Mm. You know, it's just like stunning them. So they're like, wait a minute, what do I do now? You know, maybe I'm not going to be so enthusiastic in rebuilding our organs. we got to rebuild our blood vessels. we got to rebuild our hearts. You know, our hearts turn around. Like, we actually have um, stem cells in our hearts and our brains and regrow our nerves. Every single day, mm -hmm. something in our body is regenerating. Actually, a lot of things are yeah. regenerating. But more exciting to me is the ability for every single person listening to this podcast to be able to actually enhance their own stem cells. And here's yeah. the research. So the Mediterranean diet, has, has, it's been a study by Spain, looked at um, uh, elderly people on the Mediterranean diet. And those who uh, were on a Mediterranean diet compared to not on a Mediterranean diet had five times the number of stem cells in their circulation, in their bloodstream. Mm, amazing. So again, it's not one magic food. It's the pattern of pattern food that you're actually eating. Now, when you, you can actually do the research on specific things as well. So for example, tea. 
green tea will increase your stem cells. But guess what? So can black tea, mm. right? So here's what the surprise is. Why the is. Japanese live forever? <laughs> well, you know, longevity. all the green tea. You know, people in Asia drink a lot of tea. People in Britain drink a lot of tea as well. Yeah. And we used to say green tea is good, black tea is fermented, so it's not going to be that good for you. We're changing our minds. We have to keep our minds open. Huh. Black tea can also double the number of stem cells. And huh. then here's another kind of surprise and delight is that um, there was a study at, uh, by UCSF in San Francisco where researchers took people with known cardiovascular disease, so they had kind of crappy blood flow, and they gave them hot chocolate. Yeah, I was going to say the chocolate stem cell story. I want to hear about that. It's amazing, that. right? So um, <laughs> the darker the chocolate, the higher the flavanols. These are the bioactives that are naturally present in cacao. Yeah. And they, there was a study these done. These are the food as medicine components. This is the food There, there are literally component. these chemicals in food called phytochemicals or phytonutrients that actually have these medicinal properties. You're they are made by Mother Nature. They're packed in the food, growing on the plant. And, you know, um, every plant-based food will actually have some type of bioactive. So... In cacao, which is a bean, which then you process to you actually get, you know, kind of the cocoa powder. Um, if you take the really dark chocolate, like 73% cacao, the really dark chocolate, and you make it into a high flavanol hot chocolate drink, and you have it twice a day. This was the clinical study they found in people who wound up actually having, um, uh, drinking the hot chocolate twice a day over the course of a month they doubled the number of stem cells compared to the people who didn't drink hot chocolate, right? And so, okay, so the question is, is that important? Well, when they measured their blood flow, mm -hmm. what they did is they put a blood pressure cuff on them and which, you know, kind of like um, lowers the, uh, the circulation of the blood, then they let it go. They found that the blood flow was much vastly improved. Wow. So here's a functional uh, uh, result that actually means it makes a difference. So. Who's going to complain about chocolate? Who's going to complain about tea? Who's going to complain about a Mediterranean diet? I mean, you go out to eat. These are the things we love. Yeah. Getting people to think about food as not just calories, but information. Food right. is not just energy, but actually instructions yeah. that regulate your stem cells yep. and your DNA and right. your microbiome and your immune system and your angiogenesis. I mean, these are things that are, are not things it's, people it's think about. It's the new science of nutrition, right? Yeah. So beyond proteins and calories and sugar and all that kind of stuff, we're now... Combining food science with life science. Extra celery, please. Here are a few recipes that feature Chinese celery, along with other ingredients that are known to promote stem cell health. Chinese celery, which is packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, contributes to overall health and regeneration. Combined with ingredients like turmeric, green tea, and berries, these recipes offer powerful nutrition to support the body's natural stem cell functions. The first recipe is a Chinese celery and turmeric stir-fry. This dish combines the nutrient-rich Chinese celery with turmeric, a well-known anti-inflammatory spice that promotes stem cell health. To prepare, sock garlic and ginger in olive oil. Then add tofu cubes for a protein boost. Stir in turmeric powder and black pepper to enhance the spice's absorption and finally add chopped Chinese celery and soy sauce. The dish is finished with sesame seeds for extra antioxidants. The combination of ingredients provides a balance of anti-inflammatory properties, plant-based proteins, and healthy fats, making it a powerful meal for supporting cellular regeneration. Ready with the celery? The second dish, a Chinese celery and green tea quinoa salad, combines the crunch of Chinese celery with quinoa, spinach, walnuts, and a green tea-based dressing. Green tea, along with matcha powder used in the dressing, contains powerful antioxidants that promote stem cell longevity. The salad is easy to prepare. Mix cooked quinoa, chopped celery, spinach, and toasted walnuts. The dressing is made by whisking green tea, olive oil, lemon juice, and matcha powder together. This refreshing salad is rich in proteins, healthy fats, and nutrients that support stem cell health. Celery root! <laughs> the next recipe is a Chinese celery and blueberry smoothie, which combines Chinese celery with blueberries, spinach, avocado, and chia seeds. Blueberries are packed with antioxidants that help stem cell function, while chia seeds and avocado provide healthy fats essential for cellular health. Simply blend all ingredients with almond milk until smooth and adjust the sweetness with honey if desired. 
This smoothie is a refreshing and nutrient-dense option to boost your body's natural repair mechanisms. Celery sticks! Another nourishing recipe is a Chinese celery and bone broth soup. Bone broth, rich in collagen, supports tissue repair and stem cell renewal. For this soup, sock garlic and she take mushrooms and coconut oil, then add bone broth, chopped Chinese celery, turmeric powder, and miso paste. Let the soup simmer for about 10 minutes, then add a splash of lemon juice for a bright finish. This warm and healing soup combines the regenerative benefits of bone broth with the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric and shiitake mushrooms, making it ideal for promoting cellular repair. Did you include celery sticks? Finally, there's the Chinese celery and pomegranate salad, a light and refreshing dish that combines the crunch of Chinese celery with the antioxidant-rich benefits of pomegranate seeds, cucumber, and avocado. The dressing, made from flaxseed oil and apple cider vinegar, adds a dose of healthy fats that support cell health. Simply toss the celery, pomegranate seeds, cucumber, and avocado together, then pour over the dressing and top with pumpkin seeds for an extra boost of zinc and antioxidants. Yes, I have your celery. Each of these recipes combines Chinese celery with ingredients known to support stem cell health, offering a variety of flavors and nutrients to promote the body's natural regeneration process. Whether you're looking for a light salad, a hearty stir-fry, or a nutrient-packed smoothie, these dishes provide delicious ways to nourish your cells and support long-term wellness. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the stem cell diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.